Hi Aries, this is Gypsy Spirit here, ready to give you a tarot reading for the week of uh, January 20th through the 27th, 2024. And I have already uh, done your cards. We're uh, working with a very simple deck and some oracle cards. Uh, just please keep in mind that this is a general reading. Uh, it, some of it may resonate, some of it may not. What resonates, hang on to. What doesn't, let it go. Uh, if you want your own personal reading, I will explain how to do that towards the end of the video. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, I have uh, I've already um, done your card spread, and I am using a deck um, that I never thought I would ever use. It's uh, Let me see if I can find it. <clears throat> it's called uh, the Tarot, the Magic of Tarot. <laughs> and I remember my uh, many months ago, I was at Barnes and Nobles with one of my aunts, and she didn't have my tarot cards with me, and she wanted a tarot reading, so I had to go, and she handed me uh, some money. I had to go and buy some tarot cards, and I ended up with those, um, and I just read them that one time. I did read them one other time, but um, something just told me that I needed to stick with this deck today. It's it's a very simple deck. Nothing, nothing that you really have to, you know, like really look at the picture and, and try to figure it out. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We got a King of Wands, a Five of Pentacles in reverse, and a Knight of Cups. And I'm going to explain that to you right now. The King of Wands is telling me that you you have everything in order. Wands is about work, and I feel like some of this. Uh, for many of you, this has to do with money, uh, finding work, or a new opportunities. But what I'm seeing when I looked at these cards, and I also looked at your oracle cards, um, what I see with the king, you know, the king has everything in order. Uh, he's got all of his ducks in a row. He's in control. And what I'm seeing, uh, based on the other cards, um, is that maybe you have a little bit too much control, uh, micromanaging. Um, and I say that because we get the flower card, which talks about anxiety. Um, this is, uh, lavender is the flower, uh, but it says let go of anxiety. Calm your nerves and you'll be able to hear the voice of your angels. And that's what I'm seeing is that even though like uh, Aries, yeah, they, they they are very orderly and they do have like to have their ducks in a row and, and in control of everything. But what you need to realize, dear, is that you're, you're not really in control. <laughs> you know? uh, we're, things, this is a, a, a life journey and we're just, you know, we're, we're walking the path of this life journey. Um, so even though you might think that you have everything in control, you really don't, and you need to loosen up a little bit, Aries. That's what this is saying. Um, even though, yes, there are some things that we can control and that we have power over. What you do have power over is your mind and your thoughts, uh, your energy, where your thoughts are going. Um, but let, let me go to the next card. And, and we'll, I'm going to still stick with the King of Wands because there's so much to be said with this. But we have the Five of Wands, uh, the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So this is what I'm hearing, is that you're getting, there may be uh, financial opportunities that are coming your way or that are in front of you right now, Aries, but you're not taking advantage of it. You're not looking at it because you have like tunnel vision. You know, and this is where we're going back to the king of wands, you know, work, money. Um, you have this tunnel vision that you're going to do it a certain way, go go a certain path. And I feel like the universe is trying to uh, help you to try to expand your mind, expand the possibilities, and look into to these other opportunities that are sitting right in front of you. But the problem is that there's a lot of anxiety, like what ifs, you know, stop thinking about those what ifs and just go for it. This is where the anxiety is kicking in because yes, you do see the opportunities, 
but there's so much anxiety like what if I fail what if this doesn't work what if I lose this amount of money or whatever uh, the map card is a very interesting card in this reading because it says um, into the unknown um, as you can see like she's blindfolded but there's a lot of um, energy all around her <clears throat> so yes I feel like there's opportunities in front of you Aries and that you're kind of walking into it or, 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 or blindfolded and that's okay it's all about learning lessons and and how do you know that whatever this opportunity that is in front of you um, and that you're so afraid of or have anxiety over how do you know it's not going to lead you into something else better you know and so that's where you have to shift you have to turn your your energy your thoughts give your power over to a new energy and it, with the attitude of gratitude of believing that whatever this new opportunity is don't walk into it with fear walk into it believing and knowing and expecting um, something good to come out of it even if it didn't if it doesn't work out for you and it's not what it's supposed to be that you're going to learn something you're going to get something out of it and that there is a reason for this opportunity to be put in front of you and so let go of the anxiety yes uh, surround yourself with some lavender uh, and, and just calm your nerves and let go of the anxiety we also have the last card is the knight of cups so I feel like something happened in regards to money or work with you, uh, Aries, that um, put you, that caused you to be guarded, you know, and that's why we had this king of wands, you know, very guarded, having everything under control. You're in your comfort zone now because now you know you've got everything exactly how you want it. <clears throat> and that's kind of like when the... The universe throws a monkey wrench at you and says, uh, yeah, no, you're not in control here. Okay, we've got bigger and better things for you. And uh, but yet you're still so guarded because of the pain from the past or maybe whatever it was that you lost in the past in regards to money or work that you're in a comfort zone now and, and you don't want to make any changes. Um, and that's why you're you're being told, yes, um, it, get out of that comfort zone move forward because yeah you're missing some opportunity here um but the the knight of cups is also telling me that um there there's healing and whatever it was that you lost before in the past or or made you you know put you on your guard that it's through these opportunity or this new opportunity that's going to help you heal and so um, the Knight of Cups is telling me that, yes, there is a chalice. See how he's, he's on his horse and he's offering you the chalice of healing, a cup of healing. So it is through this opportunity, Aries, that you're going to find some healing um, so that you can move forward. And I got to share this angel card with you. It's beautiful. Shanti. Shanti is your angel. And this is what she says. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. So yes, I mean, <clears throat> there was a lesson you needed to learn from whatever it was from the past due to your finances or work, whatever. You learned it. Uh, and yes, you became very guarded, um, afraid or have some anxiety about move it into something new or embracing a new opportunity but you your angels your spirit guides are all around you they're trying to help bring you into a new opportunity a smoother road so don't be afraid to take the new opportunity there's healing in this new opportunity aries so i hope this helps um if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it in the comment box and I will respond. Um, if you want your own personal reading, all you have to do is scroll down to the bottom 
uh, in the box. It'll give you my uh, website address and you can go there and learn how to get your own personal reading. Um, in the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next week. Okay. Bye-bye, Aries.